Alrighty, I'm back for part two for this BMW 2015 428i. This is the one, if you watched part one, had a bad, what does it call it? Beamer calls it IHKA or IKH. No, IHK, I believe. The heating and air conditioning system was bad. You see that circuit board got all burnt excessively. I think a drink spilled in there, shorted everything out. We kept popping fuse F10, which left the wipers on. The, all the time the blinkers wouldn't work. Uh, no HVAC, bunch of random stuff, right? So fuse kept popping, which is under here. Got a new module. That's our second new module. The first one we got didn't even do that stuff. It just had a little guy there and a little guy over there, and that was it. The program that we coded it, and the program coded fine, but there's something wrong with the actual modules. We sent it back, got another one from eBay. This one was like 165, 175 or something. It was shipping compared to 24 to 2500 from a new one from BMW. Also, the shop that worked up on it before forgot to plug a uh, the HVAC motor connector back into a little box under there because they were troubleshooting because that's where the fuse is at. So we plugged that in. We're going to go home, go ahead and program and code this vehicle. So I'm going to go in here, start a new session. And I'll automatically detect it. Why? Sorry about the glare. There's the VIN. We're going to hit OK. Using my Maxisys Ultra with my VCMI. It acts as a passive device hooked up to the vehicle. And what I also have is a power supply hooked up to the car. Got key on engine off. I got it set to 14 and a half volts. Because when you do a Beamer, it's got to be above 13. And we're at 13.3 because a little bit of a voltage drop from the wires, the cables. So we'll recognize the car here. Probably going to have to cycle the ignition. So I'm going to turn the ignition on. Which it did itself. So it's read, reading the VIN and everything. It's everything powered back on. So I'm going to go, I'm in, uh, show you where I'm at here. I'm going to go into the IHK module right away and there's some codes in here so we haven't programmed or coded yet there's a god this thing's focused come on air conditioning control box does not respond K line audio operating unit not responding and signal that's from another module program we'll look at that later so I believe these are because it hasn't been programmed or coded yet so we'll escape out of that but well, we got power to everything in communication, so that's good. Go to programming. Make sure you're above your 13 volts, all that good stuff. Make sure you have your VCMI hooked up via cable. Have a good internet connection, which we do. Hit OK. So this is a previous session. I don't want to restore it. I want to start brand new. Because I wanted to ask me if a module has been replaced, and I want to hit yes, so that way it writes the VIN into that new module. And we'll clear all the codes, run it, make sure everything works, and then do a full system scan of the vehicle. Because this vehicle has some other software updates, but that's not what it's here for. There's some other codes that go through this vehicle. We can always look at those another time if needed. But we're fixing this guy because the old one, like I said, got burnt up. Kept popping fuse F10, 5 amp fuse. That thing was smoking. You have to watch part one, but we got a new used one from a salvage yard. Here's all your information. We're not going to edit. We're going to hit OK. Sorry about the glare. We're at 13.3 volts, so we're above 13 the minimum with our battery maintainer. Let me pause this while it catches up. Now it's already caught up. 
So in the next step, the diagnostic tool will communicate with all control units and figure out their program status. It may last for several minutes. Diagnostic tool will automatically calculate the programming measurement plan, which may take a few minutes. If you don't want to do coding, you hit coding. We're doing programming and coding. So I'm going to let this go through its little system check. It's going to update the vehicle order. Work control units replaced. Before a vehicle program is started, ensure the basic requirements for trouble-free programming are met. If control units have been replaced, select the Replace Control Units in the dialog box below, or collect the control unit tree and on the Replace Units, then select Replacement Follow-up there. We're going to hit Yes. That way, make sure it writes it into there. So here's all the modules. What do we replace? The IHK. Right? Integrated Automatic Heating AC System. We're going to hit OK. I'm going to go to program and coding. I have another video that goes over all that other stuff. In the next step, the time to determine the majors may be a little bit long. Please be patient. Okay. Sure. Like I said before, when we first plugged the other used one in, we just had the. We didn't have all the temperature display or nothing. We just had this guy and that guy, and it. It just wouldn't program. It programmed and coded, but it wasn't. There's something wrong with that unit. So it turned the temperature dial on the left there, and it would do all kinds of wacky stuff like the real stat was bad and the one we got used. So, so we're program coding. We're going to go to control unit list. We're going to go to the IHKA. We're going to go to program. Here's your what it's going to do. It's going to for your software software level integration level. Um, it's going to program it. It's going to code it. Program code. It's going to run the power down, run the AC and protection. That's all the follow up stuff. So we're going to hit execute major plan. So we got to follow. Let's turn ignition off. Then turn it back on. Key on engine off. Let's just follow the prompts. So it's off, key on, engine on, or key on, engine off. We're above 13.2, so now it's doing its thing. So right now it's saving individual data. I'll pause through this because this takes, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes. Radio just came on. Get everything prepared. I'll pause it till it gets to some more interesting stuff. All right, it's still preparing its stuff. It's going through radio stations, turning this module on and off, turning the radio on and off because it's saving an individual data. All right, so that first part, saving individual data is successful, and now it's preparing for vehicle programming. All right, shut the door so the glare's not so bad. So right now you can see it's in a programming flashing time status right there at that blue screen. And it's running. So we're doing that right now. So the pre preparing vehicle for program is successful. Now it's programming right there. He it says it's 0%. It's in the, it's in the flash mode on that display there the modules off right there it's at 2.2 some percent i can feel the vents on i never felt air on these before with the old one so hopefully this programs and codes good got 13.2 volts we're above 13 um our power supply is set to 14 and a half but there is a voltage drop through these cables but as long as i'm above 13 and you don't want it to lose power that would be bad. So we're at 62, 63, 65%. Keep going. Still doing its programming. Again, using the Max Assist Ultra with the J2534 pass through device. Ninety nine percent. It'll sit at ninety nine for a little bit here. That came back on. It's 
So this program is successful. Looks like it's in Celsius now. So there's gotta be a setting to change that. Once it's all done programming, coding, doing all the stuff, we'll see where it's at. We'll rerun diagnostics, make sure it all works, clear everything, rerun it again, get everything set up so it's in degrees Fahrenheit. And then uh, see what it calls, or if there's anything left we gotta do. Well, it went back to degrees Fahrenheit, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. Car doing all kinds of chimes and talking to the computer here. Doing the control unit mode changeover. So I'll pause it again while it continues to do its programming. Alrighty, so I did the control unit mode changeover. Now it's coding it. See the temperature displays changed on there. So it just said it's coded. It finished its coding. The light, and, the flashing light went away. This is working so much better than the other one we got on eBay. Now it's doing its update integration level, which is that software level we saw in there. Turned everything off again. The computer is. So, while that's doing that, the fuse that it blew, you'd have to watch part one. Is that one right there, five, fuse F10 5 amp. Powers different modules, which it doesn't show on this diagram all the modules of codes, or powers, but. And that fuse is under the right foot well there, fuse F10. So. So it ran the power, did the upgrade, update integration level, run the power down command, it ran the in protection for AC compressor, now it's doing the media oriented system transport, storing the desired configuration. Radio's back on, all the lights are on there. So it's doing all that. Because there is follow on maintenance, follow up, but, there, but it's doing it all. Um, with the scan tool from this execute major plan. Now it's doing the def delete fault memories if there's any codes in there from programming because when you program modules come on and offline. So it's gonna clear all those up. Everything's off again. Still good, voltage is 13.7. Turn back on. Then it completed now, Let's see where it's going next. So it's running the restore individual data. Everything's on there still. I guess I'll pause it while he finishes this part up. Still restoring individual data. I hear you going through the radio stations, different music and stuff. Fans are coming on, turning stuff off and on. It's restoring its data. Should be done here shortly. All right, so there's our final report, which shows the dated program at the time, the integration level, the program that is successful, code is success, all the other following me is successful, so hit OK. It's going to update the vehicle order. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start it, make sure everything works on the controls, and rerun codes, and uh, go from there. All right, so everything's working. I'm in the IHK module, IHK module. Hit read codes, no codes. So that's good. I'll try to do this by film, but I can turn the fan. Let me turn this radio down. You turn the fan down. I just turned it off. I can turn the temperature up on both sides. I can do different molds, do max AC, regular AC, seat heaters. I don't know if I'm getting all this in the film. I can do defrost. It all works. You can hit auto. So everything works awesome. So that is a fix 
for this 2015 BMW 428i. Now that the module is good, the new used one from eBay, I wanted to show you this little catalog. You go to realoem.com. There's different catalogs, parts catalogs. I'm going to go to Beamer one. Type in the serial number, the last digits of the VIN, last seven, or you can type in the part number. So I hit search, and it's going to pull up. It identifies that it's a 4 Series F36 chassis, 428i, unit brawls parts. To make sure you get the right part number, you can go in here and we'll go down to. Where the heck is heater AC? Then we'll go to the right subsystem, which is going to be right here. Automatic air conditioning control units. This, the Beamer we worked on, was built in five, the fifth month of 2015. So there's four of these. This one's not it, no heated seats. This one's not it, no heated seats. This one is not it because there's no chrome. It's this one because there's chrome and heated seats. So index four. Air conditioning control for vehicles with seat heating driver passenger bracket and chrome conversion. So this year to this year, his is 2015. Now you can also type this part number in 146, which is the original part number on the old one or the bad one, which I don't even know if I have it. Yeah, right there. It's the original old part number which is right there. Come on, focus. 9354146. So anyways, the one we got the first time that was bad was this part number here that ends in 7341. It says exchangeable retrospectively, so it should have worked, but it didn't. It would have worked, but there was an internal circuit issue with that one, so we had to send that one back and get the other one. But now that we got it, it's all good. Again, to review what happened, Fuse F20 was kept getting blown because the circuit board is well destroyed. What happened is the wipers would stay on, the blinkers wouldn't work, cruise control wouldn't work, multi-function switch issues, issues and so forth. Falling the fuse, uh, the circuit, replaced it, falling this bad, got a new one, or new used one, got one from eBay for 120 bucks compared to 24, 2500 from, e, uh, from the dealer. And the one we got from eBay, Program the codify, but it wasn't working as advertised. So we sent that one back, got another new used one for 175 bucks, compared to a new one from e uh, Beamer 24, 2500. Put it in, there's two codes, no com with the HVAC, no com with the radio, and we program coded it, everything is good to go now. So that is a fix for the 2015 BMW 428i.